Hello and welcome back. I'm going to be starting with step four, which is uh, working with the upper hull assembly. And we're going to add a few parts here. Um, B31, which is right here. and B42, which is right there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> B31 is used if you're going to have a figure standing up um, coming out of this hatch. Um, I might and I might not, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. stand it goes in there and then the back is number 41 or 42 Looks like I need to clean this part up a bit. Okay, it's gonna fit right in there, like so. That completes step four. There wasn't much to it. All right. All right. Um, welcome back. And I've turned the page. And we're now looking at step five. Step five is uh, assembling some of the spare track and the tail rack that goes on the very back of the tank. And for that, we're gonna need the A sprue, the B sprue, and the D sprue. Okay, well, let's grab those. Oh, here it is, D14. <clears throat> D14, three pieces. Now for the A sprue, we need a 12 and 13. Okay. 
Also off the A sprue we need A4. Wow, A4. These are dinky little pieces here. Hmm. Okay. Then we need B25, right here. And B39, there it is. Okay. okay, those are the parts that we need for step five. Okay, so um, I've glued together the parts in step five. <clears throat> um, this is the tail rack, as they call it. Or the rack that goes on the rear end of the tank. Here are two sets of spare tracks and their little holders. All this uh, has been done. So then we drop down here to step six. And in step six, we're going to get the, the upper hull piece. And we're going to glue that rack we just built and the spare tracks and put those on there. Plus a couple other parts. Uh, B38, which looks like rear lights, tail lights. And everything else that's in step six are tools. And I am not going to put tools on now, as I've said before. That'll come later. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and glue these parts onto the back end here and uh, we'll see how that comes out okay the first part of step six is done and that was in the rear end of this thing I put the uh, rack on the back and the okay, spare tire or spare tire excuse me spare track sure pieces on and um, now uh, I'm gonna put a few parts on the front here, uh, B34, which is, let's see, B34, B, 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 here's B, excuse me, B34 is going to be, let's see, there it is, Let's see, B37 is uh, some lights. Okay. Um, B35, right here. I think it's like a big searchlight or a siren. I'm not sure what this is. Whoa, that went flying. And B4. B4. There it is. B4. B4 is a little machine gun that comes out of the front of the tank. All right. 
also, I forgot to put the tail lights on the rear of this tank. And those are B38. Okay, so let's find B38 also. Rear tail lights, there they are. These things are small. Whew. Okay. I think that's all the parts I need for the step six. I think. All right. Let's start with the rear end and put the um, lights on the back. And the lights on the back are B38. And they go in those slots right there. Okay. Oops. There's a couple of slots in the back here where these uh, B38s are going to go. They need a little cleanup. In fact, all these parts need cleanup, so I'm going to pause the camera. All right. Um, as far as step six goes, we, uh, I've gotten done all that I'm going to do on step six. The only thing left on step six that I can see is the tools. There's several tools that go on here. And those are all going to wait until later. So right now, step six with the uh, machine gun in the front, the headlights, uh, some sort of a siren. This... Uh, I'm not sure what this thing's called. I see them on a lot of tanks, but I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, and then on the back side, on the rear of the tank, we have uh, a spare track, a tail rack, and then this part here, I have the little stand here for the commander figure to go on. So that is what we what we got accomplished on step six. Step seven down here, you can't see it. Anyway, step seven is attaching the upper hull parts. Continued. And uh, they show more tools in the back here. And there's a whole bunch of grab handles and guards, guard rail things that go over the lights, also in the front, and then one of the hatches we're going to put on right here, the very front, and <clears throat> let's see, uh, looks like we're going to put both hatches on, so this, um, I'm going to see if I can put them on without gluing them, just so I can move them, or remove them when I want to. So at any rate, for step seven, we need the, looks like, mainly just the B sprue, which is this big sprue right here. And let's go ahead and cut all the little parts off that we need for the B sprue, and uh, We'll see you when I get back. Okay, I'm back. And let's see, I was on step seven. And um, <clears throat> as far as step seven goes, I get everything done on it except for a couple of tools that go in the back here. So let's just take a look at this. Got all these bits and pieces here in the front. I got the two um, hatch covers on. This one is closed. This one will be open. As we're going to have a, I believe the driver 
figure is going to be coming out of this one. On the back end, we have the rear lights, a couple of hand grabs, grab, grab, and handles. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, some spare track, the basket in the back, this big vent. Also in the front, I'll point out these uh, grab handles here. And so, basically, except for the tools, step uh, seven is now done. All right. So we're going to set the upper hull aside for now. <clears throat> because step eight let me bring over step eight here into the view of the camera step eight is all about making the main guns we have the 75 millimeter gun barrel assembly and the m2 heavy machine gun assembly to make <clears throat> Now, when I make this machine gun, uh, I will not attach it to the tank yet, uh, because it's going to get painted separately. The barrel, however, the main gun barrel, however, will get attached when it comes time to attaching those things onto the turret. So let's go ahead and build this, and, um, and then we'll... Uh, We'll get back to you when that's done. Okay. Here is step eight. Completed. I have the main 75 millimeter gun barrel assembly done. I also have the M2 heavy machine gun completed. is so that is step eight completed so we can cross step eight out done right now we're going to move on to step nine Nine is turret assembly. And we are going to be taking the main turret parts and gluing the gun barrel assembly into it, putting a couple of hatches on, a searchlight, some grab handles, and various other little things. So let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and find the parts that we need for step number nine. I am back with the turret coming together. Um, here's what I've got done so far. I have the main gun pressed into the turret here, and I've glued it along this seam where it presses in. Um, I have this hatch on the side done, and of course I have the two halves of the, the top and the bottom portion of the turret glued together. Now when you do this, there's a kind of a seam right here that shows, and so what I have done is I've glued it up really well. I put probably more glue than you need to hold it together, but I did that on purpose so that it would uh, create some goo... Uh, glue sprue and uh, I'm probably going to add a little bit more to that to try and fill the seam in a bit more um, as you can see it kind of shows up there um, the fit between the top and the bottom portion was not exact so between some sanding and some sprue goo um, maybe some putty not sure yet 
that'll get a little more realistic looking eventually. So that's the first part of step nine done. And um, I did get the machine gun all put together. I think I showed you that already. Uh, let's see. We still have some stuff to put on top of this turret in this next part. We got uh, an antenna that goes here. A bunch of grab handles. A searchlight. A few other bits and pieces that I'm not sure what they are. But I have them all snipped off the sprue and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these on. Uh, let's see, I'd like to point out that in this stage of the build adding uh, <clears throat> grab handles and such to this turret <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> um, these these four little parts here, there's three grab handles and then there's this part here that is where the main antenna is going to come up in the very back. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's absolutely no uh, there's no hole or indication or anything exactly where to put these parts. You kind of have to figure it out on your own and just put them on. Um, and go by the illustration and look at your turret and glue them on and, and kind of basically hope you get them where they're supposed to go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just totally smooth. These little parts are the same way. I just had to put those on as best I could and line them up according to the um, drawing. So... Anyway, I'm going to finish gluing these little parts on, and uh, we'll see how it all comes out. <clears throat> okay, um, step nine is done. I've got everything. Step nine on the turret. Um, the gun barrel goes up and down. <clears throat> the little hatches and things are put on except for the cupola that goes on next so step 10 is more work on the turret and it will be attaching the cupola the hatches that go on the top of the cupola and laying the machine gun in place there so <clears throat> You have two choices for the cupola. You have the early type or the late type. <clears throat> I kind of like the way the early type looks, so I'm just going to do it. That's that's my reasoning. <clears throat> so, the late, uh, excuse me, the early type is this one right here. Right here is the early type. See it? That's it right there. Let's put that in there. Kind of, yep, there you go. Oh, it just fell out. <clears throat> Let's try that one more time. There it goes. Clicked right into place. Grab the glue. Put a little bit on the edge right there. There we go. Cupola ring. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, this one hatch is going to go like right there. So we'll, we'll dab a little bit of glue right there. Take this half of the hatch. Stick it on right there and hold it just for a short period of time till it gets all sticky and tacky. Like that. 
add just a touch more. Make sure that it's <coughs> laying on there properly so that the commander figure can come out and poke his head up here. Okay. And then the other one. Do the same thing. Touch a little touch of glue right there. Grab the hatch. On there and hold it for just a minute. Not even a minute. Just like that. <clears throat> okay. So there's the cupola and the Hatch doors, and here's the machine gun. Is going to go in right here, like that. That's where the machine gun goes. Now, what's going to happen though with this machine gun is I'm not going to glue it in place because this machine gun is going to get painted separately. From the tank body and the turret and all that <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> that is step 10 okay so Step 10, we are now finished with. <clears throat> so far in this build, we've got, we're coming along pretty good. Um, step 11 will be uh, painting up the commander figure. Step 12 will be putting the track ha tracks together and step 13 will be attaching the turret the upper hole and the bottom hole they show here in step 13 the treads being on but I'm not putting those on yet they will get painted separately from the rest of the tank okay Alright, I'm at the point now in this build where I am going to put together the upper and lower halves of this tank and put the turret on. So, um, let's get it over here in the camera. Get these things out of the way. There's the bottom, here's the top. Now we are going to put the two halves together. This can be a little tricky, but after all, it is a Tamiya kit, and uh, it should go to go together well. This is going to go like that. And then the back looks like it goes right there, I think. Kind of hard to tell. Let's do that one more time. Okay, the front. front slips together like that okay and then 
the back is supposed to just line up back here. I guess that's something that doesn't seem right. Looks, it looks right. Does look right. Okay. Let's do that one more time. That goes like that. This fits right there, and that's about it. So let's just add some glue to this. And uh, we'll glue it together. All right, the uh, tank is now at the place where I can take the airbrush to it and give it an overall paint job. Um, the overall color of this tank was olive drab, which is what I will do. And uh, I already hand painted inside the wheel wells uh, <clears throat> NATO black. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, I'll go set up the airbrush and get ready to do that. The tracks themselves, these one-piece plastic rubberized, rubberized plastic tracks, um, I'm going to hit them with NATO black also. And then I'll do some hand brushing to those. <clears throat> so, uh... Let's see, uh, as far as the steps go and the instructions, uh, step 13 is what we just finished, which is putting the um, two halves of the tank together and the, and the uh, turret. Um, when I do go to spray paint this, not spray paint it, but airbrush it, I will be removing the turret off of this thing. Let's see, just like so. Spraying them separately. That way, you know, I can get all this colored in here and everything like that um, so anyway that was uh, up to step 13 step 14 in the instructions is building all the little various boxes ammo boxes tool boxes jerry cans oil cans machine gun tripods all these little parts that will go on to the uh, on top of the tank somewhere uh, later on and then on step 15 looking ahead it shows the placement of these various things and the colors to paint them step 16 has to do with the infantrymen how to paint them how they're supposed to look step 17 is Completely up to the builder if he wants to do this. It's, uh, you know, placing the figures around the tank. And then I believe step 17 is the last one. And as I said at the very beginning, uh, we have the markings on the back here. So we'll go ahead and head over to the um, <clears throat> airbrush department and get this thing painted up. And then we'll see you when I get back from that. Okay, I have the painting all done. Whoops, I thought that dang thing was on there. Hmm. Okay, well, the turret fell off. The gun barrel fell off. <laughs> Easy enough to fix. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, 
everything's been painted. Tracks have been painted. I just gotta, you know, do some dry brushing on them and give them a little weathering, that sort of thing. Same with the tank body itself. Do a little dry brushing, a little weathering here and there. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, see you in just a bit. Yeah, so, um, there we go. Got the treads on. Got the turret back on. Got the barrel back on. So now, as you can see, I think you can see it, the uh, treads move around freely for the most part. A little, little sticky, but you know, it's a model. So, the next thing I'm going to do here is start adding on tools and boxes and gas cans and <clears throat> a spare tire, spare track, bunches of little things like that in step 15. Actually, first, whoa, I'm getting ahead of myself. Step 14, which is right here. I got to put together some gas cans and oil cans and ammo boxes and K-ration boxes and things like that. Oh. The heavy machine gun's all done. All it does is sit on the back like that with the commander figure sticking out and the driver sticking out. <clears throat> I'm at the point where I'm going to be putting decals on. The tank has a couple layers of clear coat on it. And um, I'm starting to lay down the stars and identifications on this tank. I am going by the this version right here, the sixth armored division, January nineteen forty five Arden. Decals so far are working pretty good. No problems. Okay, let's just keep going. Next thing to do is to start putting these boxes and cherry cans on. And uh, they're going to go all over this tank, front and back. So I think I've gone as far on this tank as I'm going to. It, uh, you know, it's got some weathering done to it. I've got a couple of the crew members in there. That's the driver right there. Here's the tank commander looking through his binoculars. We've got a spare tire and spare track, big oil drum, ammo box, extra track, um, tools on the sides, various boxes and crates, 
bunches of ammo boxes, more spare track parts. Um, <clears throat> The last thing I will be doing is putting a couple coats of uh, flat clear on this whole thing to seal in the paint, the decals, and what little bit of weathering I did here. Once I get the uh, clear coat put on, it's all sealed up, um, this uh, this build will be completely finished. And I'll uh, throw in a couple of uh, still photos of that. Okay, so that's it. The build is uh, finally completed. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it came out okay. I'm happy with it. And um, thank you all for watching, whoever you all are. And um, have yourself a good day. And I do recommend this kit if you're interested in building an armor kit. Uh, to me, it makes uh, pretty good kits. They're fun to build. They go together pretty well. And they make nice display models. So anyhow, I'll see you next time.